Well, whenever you buy tickets for anything on the secondhand market, certainly there is an amount of risk. And there are pitfalls for the sellers as well, not just the buyers. Seven on Your Side's Michael Finney exposes another side of the secondary market that people ought to know about, Michael. I, I don't think people think much about this. We think about buying the tickets, right. but not when you're the seller. Look, the postponement of Adele's Las Vegas residency disappointed fans, not only holding the tickets, but those who had to sell them. Now, as we found out, the postponement left sellers of those tickets on StubHub empty-handed. I'm so upset and I'm really embarrassed and I'm so sorry to everyone that's traveled again. <sighs> Adele tearfully apologized to fans in January after postponing her highly anticipated residency in Las Vegas at Caesars Palace. Michael Hagler of Berkeley was so excited when he got his hands on those prized tickets. She sold out in like, you know, like 12 minutes um, for that show because it was the opening night show. It's about time. The Adele fan club member knew this would be a rare opportunity to see one of his favorite performers. She doesn't do concerts. I mean, that's the thing is she really has a lot of stage fright. Adele postponed her show at Caesars saying it just wasn't ready and that some of her crew came down with COVID. Michael had been planning to see a show with a friend flying in from Dallas, but they ended up selling their tickets out of concerns about Omicron. I mean, a lot of people had their tickets listed for, you know, thousands of dollars. I mean, I sold mine for uh, right at 600 each. Michael said he was only interested in recouping his money and the ticket fees he paid. But when it came time to get his money, he was told he'd have to wait. They said, well, we're not going to pay you until 8 to 12 days until after the concert. There's still no word on when the three-month tour will be rebooked. Adele in 2017 canceled two shows at Wembley Stadium due to illness. She has yet to return to London to perform in concert. The guy bought the tickets. He bought the risk of knowing that the con the con I sold the tickets that I want to be paid for my tickets. StubHub told us this policy is out there to protect the sellers due to the fact that if we were to pay him now and the concert were to be canceled, we would have to take that payment back. We asked StubHub numerous times if it would hold that money indefinitely. We're still waiting for an answer. Now, Michael wants to know who is going to get all that interest that's accumulating from the money sitting in StubHub's account. Well, he may find out. He tells me he plans to sue StubHub in small claims court. Now, I want to hear from you. Send us your stories about buying a home, a car, paying off a loan, anything that has to do with money. Here at 7 on your side, we want to hear about both your triumphs and frustrations. Go to abc7news.com slash 7 on your side to share them. you have any good money stories, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, actually, this is so timely because now with things opening up again, concerts oh. are back big time. Yeah. A lot of people will be scooping up tickets, so it's good to know. Yeah, Thanks. it is. Yeah. Right. Thanks, Michael. Sure.